Hi everybody, John Finn here. Yeah, this is what I really look like. Mmm, you like? Anyway, uh, we have, <laughs> sorry, I just love this little guy. He's so expressive. Um, so yeah, John Finn, what we're going to do today is an unboxing and review. I'm really excited about this. Um, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Spider-Man and Sinister Six Pack that I got for my birthday earlier this week, or I guess last week now. Um, I've, I've already done some cutting. I've got, got it pretty much ready to pull the figures out uh, while trying to keep the packaging intact. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm going to grab it right now. You're going to get to see a little bit of me here. Maybe not a lot of me, but a little bit of me. And I've got... Uh, so I've just cut them all like this. You see that? Just kind of uh, cut open a little flap on the side of the bubble here so I can slide the figures out and put the tray back in uh, just so I can keep everything intact. Let's see if it'll work here with Spider-Man. Oh, perfect. Like, perfect. Oh, yes. Let's pop him out. All right, and we are going to put this back in. Putting the back end's a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, look at that though. That's that's sick. It worked. It it so worked. And here's Spider Man. Um, kind of stiff elbows. That's a thing with these these Marvel Legends. This this um, three point seven five scale. The some of the elbows get really stiff. This one has a really stiff right elbow, and the the fingers don't the arms don't feel sturdy enough really for the stiffness. It's a little scary. I like that he's got the uh, web slinging hand. You don't really see that a lot. Head articulation seems to work well. Legs. I always have problems with the Spider Man's legs staying on because they don't. Yeah, there it goes. They don't. It's not nearly as poseable as it should be for a Spider Man figure. Uh, but that's that's like par for the course for this size of Spider-Man figure, though, and I think that might just be a limitation of uh, the materials and the sizes that are, that they're using. And that's okay. Um, it's still great for play, um, great for posing, great for displaying. Um, this is this is a cool little figure, and he's got the he's got this classic design. Uh, I really love this costume. Um, it, it takes me back with the big spider on the back. Now, when I was a kid, the spiders body was a bit bigger and the legs were smaller i think uh but that's a pretty good tribute to to the way it was back then um so there's spider-man right on all right let's stand him up see how he stands perfect no problem at all just right down all right up next oh my goodness i'm so excited as dr octopus Yeah, there's like two. Ah, okay. There's two trays. There's one with the figure, and then his his arms are in a separate one. Uh, that makes sense. So let's pop him out real quick. We'll take a look at just Doc Ock on his own. Oof, Oof man, that's some ugly jointing there. Uh, right here in the shoulder. Mm, I don't like that. That's really deep, and it it looks like that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, well, maybe not. Yeah, that that works actually. I think so. Let's flip that. Oof. There we go. It's really stiff, though. It makes me think that it's not supposed to go that way. Um, and that it is supposed to go. Oh shoot. Ooh, a little disappointed with the articulation in this one. I'm not going to lie, right out of the box, the, the arms are a little bit, eh. Got that same right elbow problem, a little bit too stiff. Left elbow bends a little bit better. Um, hands feel good. I like the legs. I like the legs a lot. You don't get fat pants like that, really, with the almost flared boot. Still skin tight in the freaking... Thighs. I don't know why everybody wears such skin tight clothes. Glasses look sick. 
All right, let's get his arms out and attach to his body. Uh, there's just kind of holes in the back here. Um, let's see what we can do. They're not... Uh... Oh, they do have some articulation. They do. I'm sorry. They have... Uh... Oh. This one. There we go. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. I see there's a little bit of articulation there. And one last one here. It's going to be interesting to see if this figure has any kind of standing balance at all. Because um, these octopus arms are pretty substantial. Hey guys, let's be nice. Let's be sweet, okay? Hey, 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 no ma'am. Woo! Cat dad, y'all. Cat dad. Stop it! Ugh. She found my the gift bag this came in. Alright, let's see if we can stand Doc Ock up here on his own without any kind of... Yeah, yeah, he stands on his own. He's got to lean forward just a little bit, but that's pretty awesome. Um... Now let's see if we can get his tray back in place. There we go. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna pause this. All right, next up we've got Electro here. I've never had an Electro figure, so this is my first one, even when I was a kid. Um, and this is some pretty classic looking Electro from like the Silver Age or the Second Golden Age. Right out. Perfect. Looks good in his little tray here. Pop him out. Let's check this out here. Elbow articulation is actually not bad on this guy. It's really good. Smooth. Shoulders are clicky. Woo. Double jointed knees work good. I think he's got more flexibility than Spider Man. His mask is fabulous. Oh, yeah. This is a solid figure. His articulation is just solid doesn't feel like it's gonna you know break it doesn't feel like it's giving anywhere where on the other two bending their elbows uh could really it, it, it made you a little nervous guys please be sweet dora don't be stupid <laughs> she's like sniffing the paw the other cat was hitting her with like i dare you to do it i dare you cool let's give him a little lady gaga stance here yeah, he's a little monster. And now here's the big test, though. Can he stand? Because his feet do look a little wonky. I'm not going to lie. Not even going to lie. Let's see. You got it, new little monster? Huh? He does. Electro stands. Get his tray back in here. Well, mostly. <laughs> Up next, we have Craven the Hunter. Well, I guess just Craven on here. Oh no! Doctor Doom has appeared. Crap. Oh no! <laughs> this is a disaster. Ah. Uh. Dr. Doom ain't got nothing on Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, that was just bad. Um, all right, let's take Craven out of his tray here, out of the package. Slide him out. Ah, that was my fault that time. I can't blame Dr. Doom for that one. No, I can't. And the only reason Doc Ock's still up is because he's leaning. Here we go. Now, I had this guy in the uh, Toy Biz line back in the day. 
Um, it's too bad he didn't come with the, um, the spear, because that, that would have been nice. All right, let's check this articulation. Ooh, that shoulder is clicky but loose. Like, I love that. Same elbows. Kind of between. Well, no, that's actually pretty good. Oh, is this one going to loosen? This one's a little bit tight, but it's not as bad as um, Spider-Man's was. Still, excellent. Look at that detail, man. That is just beautiful. This is a good figure. Like, oh yeah, man. This guy can rumble. Now, well, the question is, can he stand? Because that's substantial. Like, he is very top-heavy. Um, hey, baby. My, my door is saying hi, everybody. I'll be done in just a minute, baby. All right, let's see if Craven will stand. I, I'm really doubtful about that because of his backpack. Um... Yeah, he's, this is going to be a problem. Okay, there he goes. He's, he's leaning really far forward, though. Um, so, beautiful figure. Not great in terms of uh, standing on its own, though. Uh, would be great for play, but I don't know about display. Um, if I ever do a, a comic with these, we'll see how, how he works with that. Because I love the design. Um, even if it doesn't match the coloration on the packaging, I still I still think it's beautiful. Up next, though, we have Marvel's Vulture. The Vulture. Oh, no. Yep, see. We're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. Man, I am the villain. So, there he is in his tray. It's another double tray with the wings and the figure separately. We'll pop him out first. Take a good look at him. Um, not as impressive in the detail. Like, it looks kind of meh. Like, a lot of empty space on him. Let's see how he articulates. Whew, it's a tight shoulder. I mean, it works. It's only got, like, two settings, though. <laughs> uh, these elbows... Not bad, not bad on that on the left, the right. Good, really good. Um, looks like the wings go here on the arm. Check these. Ooh, forward articulation's funky because of his crotch. That might be the case on all of these though. Feet look okay. All right, let's see if we can get these wings on here. This is interesting. Hmm. This might not work. I can't really see how it wants you to snap it in there. It's just kind of... Maybe if I rock it in... Maybe I'll have to heat it up a little. Oh, did I get it? Oof. I mean, if that's it, that's that's pretty bad. Um, oof, man, this is this is disappointing. This is really disappointing. Um, I was really looking forward to this. I had the vulture from the animated series in the 90s and he was a younger version much more almost uh cybernetic iron manny than than this guy is um 
yeah, those wings just don't want to stick, like at all. Maybe this way, maybe? No. Well, no, like just, just poor design. That's just really poor design. Um, I mean, I could be doing it wrong, but it shouldn't be that difficult, I wouldn't think. I mean, it is the accessory for the figure. It's not like I'm trying to, to fit this on a different figure or anything. This is made for this specific figure. Stay in place. Nope. All right, well, we're going to put him down. That that one is disappointing. Um, so if you see the Vulture available separately, I would not purchase this guy on his own. All these others so far have been pretty awesome. Vulture, unfortunately, is pretty disappointing. We're almost there, guys. Up next is Mysterio. One of the cooler design characters, I feel. I always like the... I always like characters with capes. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, shit! <laughs> huh. Nothing happened. Everything is fine. We're good. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Um, Mysterio. All right, so let's pop him out of his bubble here. There's Trey. Ah, uh, his cape is stuck through. That's frustrating. Oh, and the slit wasn't big enough for it. Mysterio. Pretty good detail on that costume. It's got all the lines. It's got the 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 carvings there in the the gauntlets. Um, articulation, Ooh, legs are very stiff, like really stiff. Knees are okay though. Ooh, left elbow is great, right elbow is fabulous. A little bit tight in the shoulders. Ooh, the the cape kind of gets in the way of this one, so that's unfortunate. And the cape is just kind of on him, so you can just take it off and. <laughs> What the? F that isn't what he looks like. <laughs> this is just like a, a head from a different different character on there. Um, that they obviously just kind of slapped on there. Hey, Caddy Breed. So yeah, we'll leave his little cape on here. Um, I like this guy though. This is. I, I wish the cape were were cloth, and I wish it were permanently affixed. Um, but barring those things i kind of I, I like mysterio's design a lot i've always thought he's kind of kind of cool i don't know if he's gonna stand though because the cape is very heavy now he stood right away like right away um let's slide his tray back in here and last but most certainly not least marvel sandman um, I'm pretty excited about this one. I really like this, the way the sculpt looks. Slide him out. There he is in the tray. Pop him out the tray. He came out real easy. Now, this guy's elbow articulation is really going to be important. His arm articulation. Um, forward, back, real easy. Oh, shoulder's nice. Elbow is... Elbow is tight, but it doesn't matter because of all this leverage I can get from, from how long his arm is. And it kind of needs to be tight because his arm is pretty heavy. And this one, this one's huge. Same same deal. It's it's a pretty tight elbow, but you really want it because that's a lot, that's a solid piece of plastic. That's not, I don't think that's hollow. If it, if it is, it's a very thick hollow. Um, the face looks good. The paint looks solid. I mean, this, this is Sandman. Um, there's nothing really fancy about Sandman. Um here's the big question i don't think this bad boy can stand like let me pick this up 
His hips are a little loose at the dump. Caddy Bree. <laughs> she brought me her ball. We gotta play fetch after this. Yeah, his, his, ooh, ooh, that's really tight. That's kind of embarrassingly tight. All right, let's see if we can get him to stand. I think I just. Sorry, I had to throw a ball. There we go. And we got it standing. Um, let me show you this one more time. We got them all open. We got the, the packaging almost perfectly intact. So I can still display this bad boy with, with oh, oh, or I can unfold it. Man, this has a lot of potential. Um, wherever, wherever, wherever it ends up, it's going to look really special. Put that behind me. I'm going to pick up the camera and we're going to go in for a quick look. Spider-Man. You got Electro back there doing his best Lady Gaga impression. You got Sandman, Doc Ock, Mysterio, Craven, and some old guy. <laughs> For real, that's all he is. Because he can't attach his wings. It's just like some old guy with a weird scarf. Um, it's like Spider-Man and the Sinister Five and some old guy. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, keep collecting. Um, do Collect what you want. Collect how you want. If you want to open the package, if you want to destroy the package, if you want to keep the package intact, that's all up to you. Just make sure you keep collecting. I'm John Finn. Bye.